What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, we get to talk about Crash Team Rumble. No better joy than waking up to seeing all this news on this game, and there's quite a bit of it. So we get a beta date, we get the actual release date, people got to play it, there's gameplay floating around. I'm going to try to talk about all that and my impressions of them all uh, in this video. So firstly, the game comes out on June 20th, while the beta is between April 20th and the 24th, and the way you get into the beta beta is by pre-ordering the game. I guess that means I'm going to be pre-ordering it because as we're going to talk about with the gameplay, it's definitely something I need to try. I need to try it. I need to really sink my teeth into it to see if I don't like it or if I like it, I guess before the game even comes out. The beta is going to feature five characters and three maps when that comes out. And then we get to some of the more juicier things. So the standard edition for this game is $30, $29.99. And then the deluxe edition is 40. So the standard edition comes with the game, comes with the beta access. You do get to play the beta even if you pre-order the standard edition, and then comes with a premium battle pass for season one. The deluxe edition includes the premium battle pass for season two, 25 instant unlocks for season one, a digital proto pack, which includes blocky skins and equipped item. So one thing to throw out before we even start to talk about the gameplay, which is next up and people's impressions, which does seem to vary depending on uh, who you watch or who you read. I'm not in love immediately with the pre-order stuff, right? Because we think about monetization. That's one of the main things we talked about with this game. It's a, it's not a full price game for sure, right? But it does remind me quite a bit. And I think uh, Video Games Chronicle, who I was reading from on their impressions of it, they're a little worried as well. Crash Team Racing, right? Now that one was kind of despicable behavior where they launch it and the store is is fine the progression in that i mean that was a huge thing remember the progression in that game was fine and then about a month later they snuck it in and the store got or actually well the store got some upheaval let's say the progression got nuked so all of a sudden you know the first month it seems like you're progressing rather well you're doing things you're earning things and then once they made that change to start to slip in some microtransactions the store was where it was at and progression was completely destroyed so there's already a history here of games that you pay for and then it's got that kind of multiplayer you know uh, battle pass i guess progression and what they've done with it again probably activision right and uh, i feel like they're going to do the same thing here considering literally in the pre-orders uh, or if it's the deluxe edition right they're coming with all the, actually now we already know there's two seasons at least you imagine there's going to be many many more unlocks for season one so look as long as it doesn't affect gameplay obviously right if it cosmetic and and i don't even all those other kind of things that you would put in a battle pass i'm not a big fan of those kind of systems it is what it is it really just goes back to the conversation we had about this game last time i talked about it about two weeks ago is this a game that people actually want is this the game that people are actually play? I do think it serves a group of Crash fans. I think it also serves a group of people in general that are not necessarily Crash fans that maybe they're trying to get. I think a good amount of Crash fans, though, this game wasn't for them even in the very beginning, and that probably is going to be a problem, although we'll see. Then we get to the actual gameplay. So it seems like there's a two-and-a-half-minute gameplay thing that's kind of floating around. P different people are uploading it. It's just kind of raw footage. Shows a couple different maps. Shows a couple different kind of scenarios. Look, uh, it's not to beat around the bush here. Honestly, it looks okay. It doesn't look great. I guess it looks like Crash if you put it in like a brawler kind of game. Uh, like the abilities. I, I do like the idea that, I mean, there's a lot of like purchasable things throughout the map, right? So you're collecting stuff. And not only do you have to drop off the Wumpa Fruit, but you can use it to buy different, you know, kind of abilities to kind of clear the board or whatever. And there's some kind of domination points where if you get it, it, it changes the theme of the map. It gives one side or one team uh, a massive advantage. There's some cool elements for sure, but then, you know, there's the one specific scene kind of in the beginning where it's like Crash versus like Dingle Dial, and it's like, I just don't, I mean, they're spinning, and they're attacking each other, and they're kind of flopping each other back. I don't know if it's going to work. I mean, flat out, watching the gameplay, I don't see... The first thing I see is I don't know how long that will last, right? I think it probably will be fun for the first couple matches, maybe the first couple days. But the biggest thing, and they put themselves in the situation, this game needs to last an extremely 
long time. And when I say extremely long time, I mean months at the minimum. I mean, if this game lasted three months, I would almost consider that a failure. I would think they would consider it a failure. So this is probably a game that they want to last for six months to a year at the very mi I mean, that's kind of what Team Racing did, right? Uh, Nitro refueled, right? About a year. And if it can do that, that's pretty solid. Keep people around move on to the next thing. If the core mechanics can only get you through like a couple of weeks, though, that's obviously going to be a gigantic problem. So, yes, it's off at of two and a half minutes of gameplay. It's hard to judge. It's why in the opening of this video, I say, guess I'm pre-ordering it, right? I'm going to pre-order the 30. I'm, I'm not going to do the deluxe. I'll do the $30 edition, pre-order it, and uh, be able to play it throughout that beta. You know, that beta, April 20th through the 24th, that's a lot of days. I actually kind of like that because it's more than just your average like two-day weekend that they throw out a beta maybe three days this is a lot of days so i think a lot of people can get but the issue is you've already pre-ordered it so i guess can you cancel pre-orders especially if it's like digital on playstation or xbox i don't know actually but i imagine a lot of people may pre-order it play the beta and very much know you know decide and also know if they're gonna like this game or not before the even you know full game comes out which i think is kind of fair considering it would be two months before it's a beta it's three maps it's five characters you're getting a lot of what the game you imagine ideally is so you'd be able to make your decision so we'll see how they do again i'm not i'm absolutely not blown away it's not horrible though like it's not like trash i, I think it looks fine the biggest thing again the first thing that comes to mind is how long will this last? Maybe for me, I only play this game for a couple weeks and I move on to the next release to cover on the channel, you know, whatever. But if they want this game to last like a year and the, and the mechanics or the systems or whatever only last for a couple of weeks, how is that going to work? And, uh, and we'll have to see, you know, when we get to the beta and then we get to the release date. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure you're all subscribed. Bell icon turned on. I will be covering it. We'll, we'll play the beta. I'll do some videos on it in about a month from now. And I'm very excited. So thank you for watching check out all my other youtube channels my discord server all the links by tiktok actually all the links are in the description below thank you all for watching i'll see you all on the next one